Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, we're talking about data cleaning in Python, right? So, some of one of the main tasks that comes when dealing with data is cleaning it. So, if you're able to clean the data variable, process it very well, it's easier for you to do your analysis. So, some of the common issues you may find with data when diagnosing your data is reading the file. You may have issues reading the files. Either the file was not saved in a proper format, right? It's not encoded properly. It's having rules that are not consistent, so you're supposed to skip them. Then the next one is inconsistent column names. So the naming of the columns are not consistent, or they don't even have names at all. Then maybe missing data, which is very common. They are empty, uh, empty values there, and also different data types. Instead of the column having the same data type, we have different data type. So maybe they are in strengths. You're supposed to convert them to integers so that you have to work with them. Then also duplicate rules having the same rule duplicated or in multiples so first of all let's see how to deal with each and every of these issues in this tutorial so loading or reading error there so the first error is encoding error so let's see an example so i have this my data set here and then i'll be trying to read it so that you see what i'm talking about so that's telling me that it's having a unicode decode error right so the problem is not with the problem is not with the pandas but the problem is with the file so it's, it's what has not been encoded well so it's telling me that it is UTF-8 codec can't decode bytes, right? So it's giving us an error. So how do you solve it? So the first way of solving this issue is to encode it, right? Encode it. So we can encode it with this format of using either we can use a different encoding format. So encode, encoding, and then I'm going to set it as Latin, Latin one. So when I do it like this, Latin one, let's make it Latin one here. It will be easier for it to be read so that it's perfectly does no it not give us any issue so if i read it it's perfectly working right just working perfectly so that's one of the one of the ways of solving this one but putting it in latin may not help you all the time so you need to put it into utf8 right which is a standard code so the other way of solving it solution two is to use a test editor and then you save it as your file so we go and then you go to our file which was on clean data just here okay this is our file so we can open it with our test editor right so when i open this format it's telling me that it's having etf decode error right bad format so i can use sublime which is any of the tested that you have then i can drag it and save it so i'll be using this the reason why i'm using this one is because the first one has encoded it so it will not see the issue so this format right and then i'm going to save this one not this place i'll go to this place file then i'll save with encoding right and i'll save it with etf8 so now it has been saved in etf8 so when i come back to my data set what i was doing to be perfect in a perfect format for me to work with so i can just do it like this now it was one because we save it as one so you can just automatically read it and not really give us any issue so if i do head perfect it's nice now perfectly working so that is the second issue so i mean i prefer this issue because it's simple so that is one of the ways of doing it i can even bring the encoding etf8 and then it's going to perfectly work like it was working previously nice so that is one issue down so now let's see the next issue the next issue is with the column name see that the names are not properly aligned this is director capital capital small letter so how do you do that so it should be consistent so that is inconsistent column name. so either we change the cases and then we rename them so let's try to how to change the case right so let me bring this one here right let's see how to change the case so for example we have columns they going to tell us this is the column that we have right so they are not consistent some of them are capitals these are in small letter case letter and all those stuff so let's try and see that so do that give you the columns the string then upper maybe you want to convert all of them to upper case so now all of them is in upper case so i can equate this one so now all of them is in upper case so now let's try and then do it in a different better format because when i do it in this format if i do it like this again those columns it's going to tell me that it is still the same or no change it so i can rather equate this one with columns with what i have and then now if i go back with the 
columns it has changed everything to capital so now i can work with it so that's one of the ways of changing or dealing with inconsistent column names right making them all capital or lowercase you can also rename it maybe i want to rename one of them into different format for example let's say we have duration i want to name duration into time so to do that i can just go with df dot rename then the column that i want to change this format can also be used for all the columns right so columns then i put i pass in my dictionary so the first one is going to be the old name so duration and then the next one is going to be the new name that i want to put there which i'm going to make it maybe time right so if i do it like that if i change it it's going to actually work perfectly you see that has changed it to time right so that's one of the ways of renaming the entire stack so this are this is one of the ways of solving the inconsistent issues now let's move on to the next issue that we have so the another issue that we can have is missing data which is very very common so there are three ways or four ways you can solve it you can just add a default value for that missing data or the use the mean to fill it or you can delete the row with the missing data or interpolate the row or replace it so let's see how first of all check for the missing data right so to check for the missing data there are two main formats you can just do df right it's no it's no can be used to check for missing data so if i check it's no like this it's going to list it in this format so it's not mean that it's checking for those that is with no so the false false means that it's having data and then the true true means that there is no data there right so it is that's why it's put it as true but this is difficult to read so you can just go further and then make it in this format of so this format is quite difficult to read so how do you do that so you can make it more simple for you to know it by going with right with df is no dot any sorry so this is going to list it for us just like the previous one so it tell us each and every of the column with the with the boolean true or false with the missing value right that is how it's going to do it this is the same as this one here right so you can do it like this then it's going to work you can also even add it again it's any it's going to tell us that the entire data set is having missing value which was supposed to be here <laughs> they were registered the same thing right so the entire data set is having a missing value so what if what if you want to check for the in different formats to know the total count right of the values that are missing right you blend that one so first of all you can just use another format instead of the boolean true or false you can also use zero or one right to be able to tell us whether it's having a missing value or not so that's one goes with this instead of it's no it's going to be it's no but it's going to be some so if i do it like that it's going to list the entire data with and give us where each and every of them is missing so duration is having three missing director facebook likes has two missing zero zero means that it's not having any missing value so if i want to check for the entire sum of all the missing the total number of missing numbers or missing values missing ns and let's go with is sum right and it's going to work 21 wow that is crazy we have a lot of work to do so that's one of the ways of checking the for the total number of missing ns now let's see how to deal with it so the first way of dealing it is to use the fill now right so, so df fill now so when i do it like this i can just replace the entire set so let's first of all check for our value we have df dot head is our value so now let's see so we having some na right and and so i want to fill this na's with a proper format so i can just go with fill now with zero so i want to fill the all the nas with zero you should be careful sometimes some of the data set we have zero as it as part of it so so it may affect the reading but you can check it and see i think i don't have any zeros so i can just use this right for now so let's call it as df with zero right so that it doesn't change the entire stuff so now that's for all of them so if i go with df with zero dot head so that it's going to replace all of them with zero nice right so where we have this 
it's like this place that was N A N. Now it is zero. So that is one of the ways of doing it. So you can just use fill it with zero. Another way you can also do is you can fill it with the mean of it, which is quite better. So let's see how to do that. So let's first of all check our column. So df our column is we want to use this one, right? Duration. So duration. And then you see that we have NA NA NA. So I want to check for the mean of it. And the mean of it is this value. So I want to fill my entire data set with this one. DF. DF dot with me. I'm going to call it with me, right? And I'm going to make it like this. So filling it with now, I want to fill it with the mean value, right? So you should be careful that this mean is for the only the duration. So the best way is to fill only that duration column with their mean, not the entire data set. So I can just do it with duration, duration, right? Either this format or this one. So now if I go with df, it's mean, you realize that it has filled up place with this value, right? Nice. Which is quite nice. So that's one of the ways of you can fill the fill that column, particular column, with the mean. That is one of the ways of doing it. Another format of solving this issue of the missing data is to drop the NAs, right? So back again to our data set. We have NAs because we did not change it. Now we replace it. I want to drop all the NAs, right? Remember that our NAs were is no, but some we had 21 so we want to drop them right so if you check again for the entire data set hope it works oops i always confuse it with julia okay so 14 right 14 system so now let's try and see with our dropping of the nine see what is going to happen so let's drop the df dot drop now right i'm going to drop it now let me make it inside drop so that we don't change the entire stuff so now so let us if i check back again to drop dot shape realize that that's reduce it <laughs> that's reduced the rules before fit is going to affect your data set so much so that is one advantage or disadvantage of the drop now it's actually going to drop the entire stuff so if i check back again to this my drop see that it's having only very few one two three four which is not the best that's dropped all of them so you can put a condition in which is going to drop only those if it maybe if it's having more than you can put a condition that is in case it's having more values then it's going to drop it right so let's try that one and see and see if it's having if it meets a condition, then it drop it, right? So dropping all the data sets. <laughs> so let's call it drop with condition. Condition, right? So that one, yeah, I spot it. So drop with a condition. So how do you do that? I think the best way to do that is we can put a condition there. So it's going to be df dot drop. Now, and I'm going to say that. How do you how do you drop it? So first of all, I want to drop it if either with this format of the how, right? With either the how. Let's check it first before we do that. DF drop now. Nah. Hope it works. Okay. So you see that it's telling us that you can do how, right? And do it how like this so either we can just use how and then how to go with any or all so the all is just the default one it's going to move everything from it or we can set it in such a way that it's not only how we can make it all they're going to drop the default or everyone we can make it any we're going to drop any row that is going to have a missing value which is still going to affect it that is one of the conditions. The next way we can also do it is we can actually use the trash, which is very this is what the condition very very useful. So I can put the trash to so make it the trash, right? 
that means that if I if the data set is having more than three or more than two then you drop if it's not having more than two don't drop right that is one of the ways of doing it so let's try that and see so I'm going to make it two so if I check it again and then let's put this one above and close this so if I check it again df with condition right and I do shape see now it's still almost better right it's almost better than the first one but if I make it let's say condition of one and I go back in this still back better so that's one of the ways so you can can use the trash to be able to delete and it will work based on the where it is missing if it's more than that or that you can, you can even ask to put all of them together so any and back again still perfect so that's one of the ways of working with it so that is one of the ways of dropping it based on the condition now let's move on again to some of the things we can also do so this same format can also be used in case maybe you have a column and you want to you, do, you don't see the essence of the column and then you want to move it right you can also use the same thing so let's check for the shape of our listing shape we have 14 16 so i want to delete the column from it right so you can just use the same drop now stuff to do it which is going to be like this sorry so let's say df drop right and i want to drop it so i'm going to change it from as is zero at zero is the same as default one if you make it as it's one that means switch to the next as which is a column right so if i do it like this and i check again check again for the number of columns you realize that it has dropped shape so let me use this one rather because i store it it's like this see that now it has dropped seven of them so that's one of the ways of dropping a whole column with this format. Thank you for watching. If you have any question or contribution, you can just put inside the comment section so that everybody can also benefit. This has been a long tutorial. Stay tuned for the next one on how to pick on duplicate. Thanks for watching. Stay blessed.